everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Macy and I make videos on my cozy daily life, my tech and desk setups, and also my creative journeys. This video is actually part two to my design and code with me series. Part one was actually released a few weeks ago where I actually shared with you guys how I designed, mood boarded, and 3D modeled different components of my website. I actually am making a new personal website. It's something I always like to do every year. I get to put in my new design style or coding style and it's just a fun project that I like to do. So in this coding vlog, I'm going to be just bringing you guys along the journey as I code my website. And I'm also going to be sharing with you my design to code workflow. So yeah, let's get started with the vlog. So if you want, you can actually go ahead and watch part one and then come back to this video to see how I code it out. But I'll just give you a little brief summary right now too. So this design is actually inspired by Mac OS and iPad OS. So I actually have this widgets section here. And I also have my menu dock here. And I also have these different app icons for my social accounts. So if someone new stumbles upon my page, they can check out my Pinterest, my Instagram, my TikTok, Twitter, etc. In the middle of the website, I actually have a 3D model of my desk setup. What's really awesome is that if people click on this, they'll be able to go to another page of my website where they can shop my desk setup links. There's also these two dots below. And that is actually an indicator for a little carousel. I actually have two items in my carousel. One is for shopping my desk setup and the other is for shopping my digital art such as my app icons or wallpapers that I offer. So this would link to my Etsy shop. On the left side, we have my widgets. And this is basically an introduction. And when people first open my website, your eyes are kind of drawn to the left column. So you'll see my name and you'll also see a cute little slogan, welcome to my cozy space on the internet. And below you'll see my recent two YouTube videos. Some things to consider when I'm looking at this design, we're gonna have a few different components. So one of the first components that we're gonna have is a text component. And we're probably gonna have three different styles of text. One is a header, two is a subheader, and three is a section title. So first things first is I'm going to be creating this text component, so that's very helpful to know. The second thing is I'm actually going to be having these YouTube embed objects. So this will probably be another component. So when I look at this, I'm actually thinking, is there any APIs that YouTube offers that I can actually use to directly call my latest two videos? So that's something I should look into if there's a YouTube API, which I'm sure there is. And just to recap, this is again, a spline. 3D model. I can actually just plop in a spline react component and my 3D model will be there. And to the right side, this is just a simple array of objects. So we'll probably have different buttons to represent the app icons. So we're probably just going to have a social button component. It's in this really nice container with a slight opacity and this resembles the dock on iPad or Mac OS. So there's a carousel component that will dictate what shows up inside this region and basically at index zero it'll be the spline component and index one it'll be this component which would actually link to my etsy shop okay so that kind of just lays out the general components of my website i'm now going to be sharing with you how i actually create the spaces for this website something that i love to do when i make websites is follow a grid system in my code i always use my own personal grid component which makes it a lot easier to implement this website it's a 12 column grid so this is 1 to 12 and in between the columns is a 20 pixel gap and there are no margins on the left and right however when i expand the screen this should stay in the center so that way this stuff isn't expanding on a really wide monitor it's just staying in the center and it's going to remain consistent so let me tell you a little bit about my grid system so the way that this works for my code i actually will have one empty column here i'll have one column here with three so this is one that's three i'll also have one column here 
here, which is six. And I also have one column here, which is two. So the way this will look like in my code, the way it's structured, is that everything will be inside a row and I'll have four column components with different span sizes. So this column would span one, this column would span three, this column will span six, and this column will span two. So the reason why using a grid component can be really helpful is because it actually helps to define the white space for you. So you don't have to worry about like, how do I space these things with a margin this width? I immediately know that this whole column is empty. So it already defines that for me. And I already know that in this next column of span three, I'll be putting all of these components in there. So yeah, that's about it. Now it's time to code. I'm really excited to implement this now. I'm actually going to be using React and the libraries that I'm going to be using are styled components and styled systems. It's just an easy way to write CSS within JavaScript. So this is what everything looks like so far. Over here I have my rows and my columns and I just put filler text for now just to give the structure for the website. So I just put my website next to the design just so I can show you side by side how everything is forming. For now I actually just created the different columns I'm going to be working with and I have 12 columns and for right now I just put filler text. So spacing because I'm having one column designated for white space. Then I have my latest videos column, which is like where I have those widgets, which is over here. So that's three columns wide. And then I have my big section for the 3D model. Lastly, the sidebar, which is like the dock. And that is two columns wide. So far, I actually finished the left column of the website. It was really simple to implement. All three of these text components are actually from a styles component called text.js. And also I created a YouTube embed component. Okay, so I just finished the left column and now I'm going to go ahead and implement the right side of the website. So I just finished coding my website and I'm really happy with how it all turned out. The only things I need to do right now are integrate some data analytics and also deploy my website. So I'm really happy to announce the sponsor of this part of the video, Hotjar. As a designer, user experience on my website is one of my biggest priorities. There are a few ways to determine how users will interact with your site, but actual user data is the best. Hotjar's tools are perfect for gathering user data without having to dedicate a ton of time to manually collect it. The recordings help give me a more detailed view on how people engage with my site from start to finish. And this can really help identify smaller problems with the user interface, such as a button being too small. The heat map is great for observing where people click or how their cursors move. Knowing where they click, move, and scroll helps me optimize my design. And 
lastly, the feedback and survey functionality makes it easy to collect more direct user feedback. This helps me make a better website with their thoughts in mind. So if you're looking for an easy way to integrate data analytics to your website, be sure to check out Hotjar. The link is in the description below. Thank you Hotjar so much for sponsoring this portion of the video. So this is my new personal website. I'm really happy with how it turned out. You can see here on the left side, there's a short intro to welcome visitors to my website, and underneath that are my two latest YouTube videos. Like I said before, you can click on these and they'll bring you to YouTube so that you can watch these videos. In the middle, we have the spline component, which contains the 3D model of my desk setup. I think the interactability of the component is really cool. You can spin the model, pan around, and zoom in and zoom out. The next component in the carousel is the Shop My Icons page, where users will be redirected to my Etsy store, where they can shop my custom icons and wallpapers. Finally, we have the sidebar, inspired by the iPad dock with links to all of my different social media platforms. There's still a bit of polishing that needs to be done, like loading animations and minor styling changes, but I think all in all, I'm really happy with how it all came out. So yeah, that wraps up this video. Thanks so much for tuning in and watching me bring my design to life in this vlog. I hope that I inspired you to go out and design and implement your own personal website. Let me know if you like this style of video and if there's anything else you'd like to see next. As always, stay cozy and I'll see you in the next one.